Right guys, really, really short video today. It's cold in here, okay? <laughs> Fuel filter. Okay, for the petrol. You're gonna have to take the seat out, okay? And the side panels and the back panel off. You've got to do all of that to get this petrol bit out here. Now, obviously I've just lifted it up. You can't really get to it while it's on there. I mean, I suppose you could if you really tried, but I don't see any sense in doing it. It's just easier, as I said, get it all up and off. Now, this is what a fuel filter looks like. Really nice, uh, easy, simple. And yet, what I've just took off, look at that. Can you see that? That's pretty grim. So, if that's really grim, it makes you think what the petrol's going to be like in there, doesn't it? So, I'm going to now drain all that petrol out of there, because I reckon that's full of crap. <laughs> and you need to forget, a bike, the bike's been sitting, do you know, I don't know how long this bike's been sitting, not many miles on the clock, but I don't know how long this bike's been sitting, and if, if it's been sitting year, two years, you just don't know, do you? Um, petrol congeals, yes, I can clean all the carburetor, because look, nice new carburetor on there, but, you know, even if there's a little tiny bit in there, it's congealed, you put fresh petrol in it, mixes up with it. So you're not getting great petrol, are you? And again, that would cause bocking down and messing around. So, yes, I'm going to change this filter for the old crappy one. Because um, remember rightly, what I was saying is that this petrol is always leaking out. You know, you've got to vacuum it and get the petrol out. When you suck from petrol, when you stop sucking, um, petrol just stop. And this wasn't, this was continually leaking out. That's why I bought a new one. And bloody took ages to come. Anyway, so, I shall change this one. I'm gonna drain the petrol out, then I'm gonna put the new filter on, connect it back up again, and then put some fresh petrol in there, and then see if it bogs down at all. Because, say, bogging down is quite common with motorbikes. And normally, it's, it's a bit of shit in the um, carburetor. It can be caused by a bad carburetor air sucking in. It can be caused by um, the wrong air filter. A lot of kids put um, these don't get me started, silly air filters, rather than the uh, proper standard ones. These ones, just take the front off and put a nice red Molossi one in there, brilliant. But when you start putting these cheap ones in here, um, they're just sucking water this, this time of year, and it just bogs down and goes rubbish. And bogging down can be caused by an exhaust. Um, the off-the-market exhaust, they've got wadding that can bug bug up with all oil and stuff and then the the, the pressure's not getting out. The bike needs a thin balance between back pressure and none and so on. So a lot of things can cause bogging down. Um, but as I said, this one, um, I have got the um, bypass CDR on it. It could even be that, you know, it could not be the right timing or something. But I went for this fuel filter. I'm going to drain the fuel out, change that over and then see if it gets going. And if it does, job done. Let's have a look, shall we? Right, I've just put all fresh fuel back into it now. Okay, the um, old fuel wasn't really that dirty. Um, I've got the new starter motor to go on. That's the next job. Um, brand new battery. Uh, I've got to fill that and put that on. Um, and just put the air filter back on. So the electric starter don't work on this one, so it's got to be kick. Um, what I did notice was that the wires here for the auto choke was back to front on this one for some reason. It was green, so I've, I've cut the wires and changed them. I've got to tape all these wires, you know my hell bit here. I've got to tape all them nicely back up, make sure there's nothing wrong with them and everything else when they go back on. And it's a process of, I think, rather than taping it all up and then thinking, start it great. And so I'd rather half tape start, half tape start. You know, the last you want to do is pull a wire out somewhere and think, where was that? So I'm probably going to do that in, in four bits. So move up, move up, move up, right up to top, type it all, tape it all up then grip it all down, then see if she runs and starts. So let's see now, um, turn on, battery on, I was gonna electric start then, of course it didn't. Right, kick start, let's see what she does. Oh, there we go, look at that. That's what I said you know about, cut the bikes that you may keep trying to start, don't, you get a lot of smoke coming out when you go. Wow. Well, that's kickstart. That's not bad at all, is it? So. There you go. Well done. What happened with that? Yeah. Right. Okay. So that'll be a case of now 
starter motor um, on here. I've got to get a stand on here, so we've got a stand. Yeah, I've got a stand. Or I might take this one off here, because that's the whole bracket. Um, there's two bolts here and two bolts here. Do, see this bolt here? Oh, have I got the right bit today? Yeah, that bit there. Don't do that. It normally snaps on the small one. So try and get the two bolts underneath. So it's a uh, bracket here, two here, and that one and that one. Yeah, not this big one here. Anyway, so I've got a stand on this one. Um, back suspension's good, front suspension's good, tyres are okay, brakes are okay. Sort out the electrics, uh, registration plate, start, motor, battery. Then all the panels back on, and then test riding. That's a lot of work to go on here. But, as you just see, let's just... <laughs> oh, look at that. That's not bad, is it? That's not bad at all. I don't think this will electric start. Listen. No, that's that's the start. I'm that's knackered. Um, but one kick, one kick. No easy start. Just a new filter. So that was definitely worth. If it isn't it, it was definitely worth changing it. Do you know? Because um, the vacuum wasn't right. If if petrol still comes out, and when you're not sucking through that vacuum pipe, then it's wrong. So that's a chuck away job. So uh, right, check out my other videos, guys. There's loads. Um, of Speed Fighter ones, 21 maybe now, and uh, go from there. If you like what you see, click the old like, at least now I'm not going mad, and I may take the woolly hat off, but this week's going to be bloody cold now. So, uh, yeah, take care, guys. Bye-bye. Quick update, guys. Old starter. Can you hear that? It's just, well, there you go, listen. That's just wrong, okay? So, fitted the new one. I said it's in there. So, uh, turn on, full brake. Oh, hello. Right, that little spinning noise you heard was this bit here. Okay, the dog. Basically, it spins out when it starts. And what that one did, just spam around twice, didn't kick out. So, Running, look at that. So I may need to change that. Let's have a listen. Oh, well, it may have been a one off, I just fitted it. Oh, I'll test it anyway. Look at that. Here we go. Good as new speed fire. <laughs> we'll get it running. Um, it's running now. Start taping up. Um, then let's get start getting this back together. Um, I will continue this one and show you uh, it all running um, and looking like a speed fight should do. Right, wiring done. No more wiring hell, there you go. Okay, why green? Well, I had green, okay. There's a CDI unit nicely tucked in there now, probably screwed in, wiring all to the bits it's supposed to go to and uh, yeah, and it starts bang on. So, next bit is the uh, not chicken. Is my stand. Let's get this stand and uh, let's get this on. And then I can uh, do that one. Done the electric start. Battery still got to be sorted. And then panels. Yeah, job done. Grr. People ask how long to do jobs. And it's really difficult to say. A stand, 10 minute job. Took me half an hour. I had to cut the bolt off the old one out pull it in, put backing bolts on it, but it's now got a stand. And you may notice it's starting to look a bit like a speed fight now. It's got its own power source. And now if I do this, and do this. There we go. Starting to look like a speed fight. Well, to me it is. Next bit, panels. Also guys, always the way. I mean, I've got everything you could imagine in this little box. I even found CDIs, a couple of mirrors and God knows what else. And I looked at my other little box here and I've had all these out here to find I've got three of the bloody same way. <laughs> Gah, you know, I thought definitely gonna have one in there somewhere. I've got headlights and more air boxes than I thought of. And then I pulled all that out. Then to find 
that it was sitting on the side all along. Look at that. Bugger. <laughs> oh well, maybe I should look here first. Well, after lots of intensive labour, there's built bike and running. It's not too bad, is it? I thought I'd left this in the shop. As I say, I've got to see the price this one. But at the end of the day, it's not a bit too bad. And uh, it's, it's, it's running. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. A long old job this one's been, um, but it's all done there, a few little tidy ups, spray that black, uh, I ain't got no mirrors for it, but uh, yeah, that will do, job cut I think, nice wash and clean now, so uh, alright guys, if you like what you've seen, press the old yes and uh, like button, if not, let us know what I've done wrong. And uh, check out my videos on uh, loads of mopeds. Catch you later, guys.